this is a simple guide on how to get a Twitch TV account. So open your browser and go to www.twitch.tv. You see up there. The page will load, and what we're looking for is in the top right hand corner the sign up. We click on sign up and we choose username. Username we want to choose is okay. Just got to choose a password that they'll like. Try and make your password as difficult for people to guess as possible. This is a throwaway account I created for the purpose of this. So all images of cars, you may need to do a couple of these and then it will send you an email with the verification code. This will go to the email address that you input. So we're just waiting for it to load up. Now you're effectively ready to go. It allows you to choose some interests. I don't think there's many on there in the fact of line dancing at the moment, but we can choose whatever you want. So for the purpose of this, I'm just going to choose some random ones just to get past. And then you're going to need to go into your account. So click on the icon here. You can see your channel, subscriptions, inventory, settings. If you click on settings, you can add a profile picture, just upload a picture of your own, a banner if you have one or want one. You can change your account names, your display names. So even though the username is ELD test account on here, you can put line dancing Wiltshire, for example, or your um, club name. In the bio here, a little bit about yourself, the same way you've done an ELD. Okay, so that's that bit done. We don't need to worry about Twitch Prime at the moment. We'll cover that later on. So your channels and videos. You'll have a primary stream key. You'll need that later on. Okay, and a different video will cover that. Disconnect protection, you don't have to worry about. Store pass broadcasts. So when you stream, it will automatically record the stream and save it onto your channel if you select that's on. Okay, so it saves it up to 14 days. We don't need to worry about material content, I imagine. Uh, moving on, you can manage as an editor, you can do any sort of settings on here, video player banner, auto host controls. For the basic stuff, you don't need any of this. I'm just gonna get rid of these manage preferences here. Okay, so go back to Twitch. And we're gonna want to go on to our channel. So our channel is where everything happens. Okay. It's currently offline at the moment because I'm not streaming. What you'll need is a broadcast software such as OBS, which is absolutely free to use, very simple to set up. You set it up, you put in your stream key, which you got from your settings. Okay, your stream key, which is there, you can copy it, and it's now copied. Uh, you put it into OBS and you can click start streaming and it'll you select where you want to get the input from such as a webcam or on your laptop laptop camera once that's set up you click start streaming on the obs software that's obs oscar bravo sierra and away you go you can also do re recording on there and streaming on there as well so we go back to twitch there's a few things that you might want to play with. I know a lot of you are into, want to get into editing. There's a video producer option here. So once your videos are up, you've got no videos up at the moment, you can set it up and you can do all your editing on there. Okay, you can, if you look through here, you can look at your stream manager and all those points. There are a lot more details to go into. Um, I'll be asking if a couple more uh, paper guides can go up, or sorry, written guides can go up, so that you know what you, where you're going with this.